Good morning, good afternoon, hello. What we're going to look at today is how to label a right angled triangle so that we can use it to find out and perform trigonometry sums. Now, first of all, let's start to focus on here we've got a right angle in this triangle and also we've got an angle X. This is going to determine how we label the three sides. So, start with the easiest one first of all. The side opposite this angle X, in other words, opposite over there, we're going to call the opposite side. The side next to the angle X, we're going to call the adjacent side. Now, if you're adjacent to something, it means you're next to it. So that's why it's called the adjacent side. Finally, the side opposite that right angle there, so there's the right angle, so opposite the right angle, it doesn't touch the right angle, and it's also the longest side, we're going to call the hypotenuse. Now, people sometimes get the hypotenuse and adjacent mixed up because they both sort of touch this angle X here. But the way to remember which is which is that this hypotenuse uh, doesn't touch that right angle and the adjacent is the one that's next to it. Okay, now the reason we label these sides is because we're going to use something called trigonometry in other, other videos to find out lengths of sides or values of angles if you know certain pieces of information. And we're going to use it using the three um, functions called sine, cos, and tan. Now, the way to remember what sine, cos, and tan is, is this um, little sort of mnemonic or thing called so -car toa Now, they relate to all of these three sides here. So, if you think of sine, think of so. So, sine of x would be the opposite, following that mnemonic there, over the hypotenuse. And in the same way, if you ever needed to use cos to find something, you'd get the adjacent side, so that's car, so that's um, adjacent, and that's also over the hypotenuse. So cos is adjacent, or cos of x will be adjacent over hypotenuse. And then finally, toa, the tan, you're going to have the opposite. Remember this middle letter is always going to be the, the numerator in the expression of top number over the adjacent. So this is how we label up our triangle when we're performing trigonometry and then use this labelling to remember and work out how to um, display the three trigonometry functions of sine, cos and tan. 